What's popping, everybody? My name is Pocket Pancreas Plays or Carter. Um, today we're going to be playing some Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I wanted to start off with this game because it is one of my favorite games. I have uh, probably around 500 hours in this game. You know, I just love to play it. I was using a uh, practice run earlier a little bit there. As you can see, we have nobody unlocked, so this is all new, all fresh uh, save file. So a little bit about me, uh, why I'm called Pocket Pancreas, I'm a type 1 diabetic, Curse of the Blind here, uh, what, okay, I guess I should go over the game first, Curse of the Blind is a curse which allows you to not see the items that you're going to be picking up, as you can see we have two items to start with here, and then going over off that HUD or that heads up display over there on the left, we have speed on the top at 1, range with 23.75, uh, shots, or not, not, that's tier rate rather, at 10, uh, shot speed at 1, attack damage at 3.5, luck 0, and I'll go over those other ones later. Oh, it looks like we get both of these here. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and go in the curse room here. The curse room is a room that may spawn items, it may spawn just enemies. Uh, you'll never know. That's, all, that's this whole game. You just never know what you're going to get. It's just a wonderful, wonderful game full of RNG or randomly, or as a random number generator rather. A couple bombs here. So, like I said, going back to me, uh, my name is Carter. I live in the beautiful state of North Carolina. Lived here for about, let's see, six years now. Uh, love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Met some wonderful, beautiful people here. Uh, this is called a secret room, by the way. Luck down, as you can see, our luck is now negative one. And puberty, which does nothing. Um, let's go ahead and go in the shop here. A lot of stuff is happening, I know. By the way, this is a shop. This is a donation machine. You can donate it. There you go. One. Alright. So, what this channel is going to be, it's going to be a bunch of unscripted videos. If you want scripted, that's fine. Uh, I'm more or less, just, I like to talk, go on tangents. Um, you know, that, I think that suits me more. Uh, I tried Twitch for a while. If you know, if you're familiar with Twitch is basically uh, doing this but live um, so I have a webcam in the bottom left uh, let me know if you want webcam or not I can throw that in there for you no big deal but um, yeah this is you know this is gonna be all unscripted now my humor kind of goes off of body language and that's where my comedy stems you know not necessarily that was stupid damage um, not necessarily you know, like, oh, saying, oh, your mom, you know, to whatever, or that's what she said. But going off of kind of witty humor, I like that's, I think that's the best way to put it. So me being like, this is kind of fit for stand-up comedians without all the editing. Um, but I'm not one with the editing. I don't really know how to edit a whole bunch, kind of in the basics there. So this is going to be all raw, non-edited gameplay. Kind of me just talking over it, you know, just going on tangents. Um, so, why I'm called Pocket Pancreas is I am a type 1 diabetic, like I said, and a lot of people, um, you know, ask, oh, that what's that wire? I'll put up a picture up of my Pocket Pancreas right there, boom, hope you like it, hope you enjoy that. Um, why I'm called Pocket Pancreas, <coughs> sorry, is, uh, I have a pancreas or a diabetic pump in my pocket and a lot of people that don't know me I'll say what are you doing like looking at my pocket pancreas and you know I, I kind of shed humor on the fact that I have a lifelong disease which I mean I mean that's just my humor I poke fun at myself all the time uh, okay so going up back to Isaac here that's a tinted rock right there the one with a little X on it bomb it you get either soul hearts which protects your red hearts, which is important. Like I said, I'll go over that later. Uh, we got two soul hearts, thank the Lord. And Isaac is a basic character. Uh, all basic stats, all everything basic about him until we get something later on in the game that that'll prove differently. Um, so yeah, going back, God, uh, this intro video is going to be just everywhere. I apologize, but got to kill two birds with one stone here. Um, Type 1 diabetic, I have been since I was 8. I'm 19 now. Um, you know, at first it was hard, obviously, dealing with all that, but 
as life goes on, you learn to just deal with the things that you were given. And uh, I think I did, I've i done that pretty well. I've done pretty good keeping up with my diabetes. A lot of people like to neglect it and just kind of put it aside. I don't do that. Obviously, it's a lifestyle. I'm going to have to deal with it for the rest of my life. So that's just one of those things that you have to learn how to deal with and, you know, be responsible with it. And I think I've done that pretty well. Um, this, I hate this room. Uh, so yeah, and then I got a little anecdote for you here. Uh, a little story, rather. So in fifth grade, there was this teacher, my math teacher, I believe, and uh, she told me to get off my phone and I was actually checking you know my pocket pancreas and my pump to see what I needed to do to input all the carbs I was going to have for a meal and whatnot uh, seeing if my blood sugars were okay and whatnot and then uh, she said get off your phone and I'm just like what you know this doesn't look like a phone as you can see from that picture if anything it looks like a pager we got dog tooth that's a damage up didn't mean to take that damage I'm an idiot um so I want that. That's, that's a compass. That'll give you a little bit of mapping here, which is very, very handy. Um, so yeah, she said, get off your phone. I was like, if lady, look, if anything, this is a pager. And we all know I'm not going to be doing, you know, I didn't think this at the time, but like, as I think back on it, uh, that's what I think now. Like, I'm not going to be doing open heart surgery. Oh, they need me at the, the hospital. I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. You know, I just got a page. No, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Like, now, fifth grade, what do you think I have to do on my phone in fifth grade that's more important than learning? I mean, honestly, education is number one for me. Uh, my grades may not show it sometimes, but, you know, obviously education is important. But anyways, I just thought, you know, that was, that was ridiculous of her to even say something like that to a fifth grader. Uh, my parents raised me better than that. Oh, yeah, so let's go over me some more. Um... Monstrous tooth has appeared in the basement. Terrible unlock, but that's okay. Wooden spoons a speed up. As you can see, our speed went from 1.1 to 1.4. And here's why I was wanting to protect my red hearts here. We go in here. It's called a devil deal. And what the devil deal does is if you protect your red hearts during that floor, you have a great percent chance to obtain an item from the devil deal room. Um which is the Book of Belial, which is temporary damage up, which I'm going to go ahead and take, which increases our chance of getting another double deal on the next floor. So anyways, um, a little bit about me. Uh, I love fitness. I love gaming, obviously. I love... I'm a very avid Christian. Okay, I'm a very avid Christian, but I won't shove it in your face. Um... Let's see if there's something here. Nothing. All right. Um, very avid Christian. I love my family. I love my friends. Wouldn't trade them for the world. And, you know, my, I was hesitant on doing a YouTube channel because uh, I'm such an introvert. You know, when I'm with my friends or family, I like to listen out. Um, I do more listening than talking. But, like I said, I'll have witty humor here and there. I'll throw in a slight remark. Uh, what not, but uh, other than that, you know, I'm pretty much an introvert. My friend said, oh, you know, we would love to hear you uh, do something like this, so, you know, here we are. Um, with the YouTube channel, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think it's going to be a variety. I think a lot of it's going to be um, gaming, mostly, but, you know, in the end, it could be like how to, like how to be a disappointment. I'm pretty good at that. Might make a few videos on that. Um, you know, I might throw in some weightlifting. Like I said, I do a lot of weightlifting, so I love that. I love throwing those exercise videos. I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, I mess around. Whipworm gives us extra shot speed. Great, wonderful item. Um, you know, I messed around with the audio here, so this is my first video. My first video is gonna be pretty whack, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know what to say. Every, every, se okay, there goes our devil build chance, but every second, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to go off on these tangents, but, you know, over time, I think I'll learn how to do that. Um, so like I said, mostly gaming on this. I might do some family stuff here and there, some friend stuff here and there. 
think that'd be pretty cool. And like I said, I tried Twitch for a while, which is like the live stuff, and wasn't really a fan of that. Um, you don't really have a chat to interact with, which, I mean, like, when you're small, at least, you don't have a chat to interact with, which makes it extremely difficult. You know, you see big streamers kind of go out there and just interact with the chat every few seconds and throw gameplay here and there. But uh, this is this is a game where you can just kind of throw gameplay in and talk at the same time, and I really enjoy that. Um, let me know down in the comments what you want to see, actually, if, or if I should edit or non-edit. Um, I'll, you know, I'll try to learn how to edit better, but right as of right now, I'm not really the best at it. Got the bomb there. Oh yeah. Uh, so these golden rooms up here, item rooms. The normally the doors with the keys on the bottom right there are shops. I think I'm gonna be going into both here. Item room has uh, Roid Rage. Yeah, speed and range up. So like you see, our speed is now max at two. Our range increased. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shop here. Another compass. Wow. Okay, I'll be back for that. Um, so you know, I don't really know what to do with this uh, YouTube channel. If y'all have any suggestions, I'd love to see it in the comments. Um, you know, like I said, I'm kind of a newbie. This is all fresh. I am playing on a controller, by the way. I normally don't do that. I only play on that keyboard. I love that keyboard. But uh, I do have a Yeti mic that picks up. That was stupid. I have a blue Yeti which picks up every single. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. All right. Hold on. Let me focus one sec. All right. Luck down. Don't want that. All right. So. Uh. Like I said, Blue Yeti picks up every single sound, so it's extremely difficult. I have yet to get a pop filter. Once I get a... Oh, God. Oh, yep, there we go. Died. All right, at least we have the Onk here. The Onk turns us into Blue Baby, which is a little bit of a damage increase. Although we only have Soul Hearts now, we can no longer take Red Hearts, which kind of stinks, but that's all right. Um, like I said, I have to get a Blue Yeti stand so I can actually play on the keyboard so you won't hear it all the time. I have to get a pop filter. What's popping? Um, sorry, extra focus here. Extra focus. Um, you see that, that thing with the sword on it right there? That's a uh, this, this is a challenge room. Sure, we'll get to, we'll do it. Why not? Um, no, I'll go ahead and pop that. The tower card just throws bombs everywhere. Uh, really helps. You don't have any damage like me right now. So what is going on with uh, with me right now? We just got back from Florida. Visited my great grandmother who is not doing so hot. Uh, she is 90 years old. She lives in Pensacola, Florida. If you've never been there, I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful place, lovely. Um, you know, unfortunately, she isn't doing well. She did get diagnosed with breast cancer, which kind of sucks. Um, so we went down there and visited her. And, you know, I, I don't know her husband's not gonna watch this, so I'm just gonna say this out flat out, right? Uh, her husband is probably my least favorite person ever. I, I would never I would never say that, you know? Uh, normally I only talk nicely to people, but he is an awful human being. Uh, I know I can say that and he'd never watch this, so you know, that's, that's cool. Hopefully a secret room right here. There was, I'm a god. Black Lotus, one of the best items in the game. Unlock Lazarus, as you can see. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I genuinely do not like him. He is not a great person. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the compass here. You may ask, why is he not a good person, or why do you hate him so much? Well, a lot of that's, uh, a lot of that's personal, I, I would say. But just know that he is an awful human being. Um, my great-grandmother probably deserved a better person to be with over the years in my opinion goat head which is a hundred percent chance deal with the devil that is wonderful um yeah but you know other than that other than him it, w it was good it was a it was a good trip uh seeing her really i think kind of brightened her day really helped her out a lot so you know 
Cena was great. I, I really enjoyed it. Sorry, gotta focus here a little bit. Gotta focus, focus, focus. Here it is, there it is, there it is, and boom goes the dynamite. Alright. Like I said, 100% chance to deal with the devil here. Guppy's head. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna take Guppy's head for. Just touch it. Guppy said is one of the, let me see here, six items that you can take. Uh, you need three Guppy items to become Guppy. And uh, we'll go over more of that when we get to that. But yeah, my great grandmother is a wonderful human being. She talks nothing but highly of me, which um, obviously who wouldn't enjoy that. But, you know, as I said, she's 90. She's, she's kind of getting up there, uh, which does suck. And, you know, I just, I just wanted to be with her for that little bit of time. That meant the world to me. Although her husband was just down our throats the whole time. But that's cool. Um, boss challenge room. E yes. Um, pop the book of Lyle there for a little bit of damage up. Um, God. But, you know, I mean, she, she is a great person. She's a wonderful person. So... I don't know. Why, why am I making this YouTube channel, I guess, is a, a good thing to go over. So why I'm making it is I I love gaming. I love talking, you know, when I'm alone. And it kind of feels like I'm alone right now. It doesn't really feel like I'm talking a whole lot. So I'm just putting my thoughts uh, down on paper, basically. Except the paper is a file on my computer, which I'm going to upload to YouTube. Isn't that crazy? Life's crazy. Uh, but I am a big gaming guy, big Binding of Isaac guy, um, you know, 500 hours, I feels like I've put in triple that, but, you know, also, if you, you want to see me on a, my old save file, which I haven't unlocked everything yet, just let me know, because this game really is grindy, so, uh, mm, stupid damage, so, you know, if you want me to see unlock, if you want to see all the unlocks I have on there, just let me know. Like I said, I normally don't play on a controller, so this is a little bit different for me. I normally play on the keyboard, which I am way better. But the keyboard does clicky-clack, and it will become a nuisance in this recording. I'm hoping to... Like I said, do a variety on this YouTube channel, but... Um, you know, if you don't like gaming, I... I I don't know if it's the channel for you. Obviously, YouTube was founded on gaming, and it's kind of become its own separate thing over the years. And I don't know. I, I love gaming. Um, that's why I'm here. So we are on Caves 2 currently, and Caves 2 is the third to last for the, I want to say vanilla, like without all the unlocks. Caves 2 is the third last floor. Um, okay, so background of Isaac here for those of you who never played it. So the Binding of Isaac, um, it goes off of the story of Isaac and Abraham in the Bible. Uh, like I said, big Christian guy here. Um, it goes off the story of Isaac and Abraham in the Bible, Old Testament. Um, Basically, God calls down to Abraham, you know, I want you to sacrifice your son in order to prove yourself to me. So, as Abraham is about to kill his son, the Lord calls down and says, Hey, you know, uh, just kidding, just wanted to see if you were, if you uh, would prove yourself to me. And instead, Abraham sacrifices a ram, right? Or a lamb, whatever it was. A ram or a lamb. I don't know if those are different things. I know those are different things. Oh, yeah. Give me that dime. Um, Alright, donation machine broke. Um, so yeah, Abraham doesn't in fact kill his son, but this is Isaac, right? So, ooh, Tammy's head. Pretty good. Don't have another key for that. Um, I'm going to stick with Belial here. But... Um, Abraham almost killed his son for the for God. And in this, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. In this, uh, 
Isaac's, or the Lord calls down to Isaac's mother, actually, and says, uh, your son has become corrupt, uh, so basically you need to kill him. So this is Isaac. He is trapped in his little toy chest trying to hide from his mother, who is out to kill him. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but you'll see who the final boss is. And as, as you go on, there are different bosses that, you know, kind of emerge and you get to kill, so we'll, we'll save that for later. But yeah, going over this game and talking about my life, really kind of hard to do. I know this this is just an intro video, so it's like a twofer. Um, oh, I'm going to go use this key real quick, hopefully for some health. Um, you know, this is a twofer, not every secret room. You're, alright. Uh, you can tell it's a secret room by the way that it is. Anyways, um... That's unfortunate. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, um... Yeah. Different bosses emerge as time goes on. And you'll see that. Um... Not gonna spoil anything right now. But this game is, this game is good. That's all I have to say. This game is great because it is good. It's good because it's great. Let me know if I need to adjust any of the volume levels as well. Like I said, it's kind of almost a test video, but not really. Because I've went over a lot of stuff here. So it would be a dang shame. If uh, a little chubby. Obviously great speed. Don't really need it. Uh, okay, here are free devil deals. Uh, red chests are normally uh, either in curse rooms or devil deal rooms. As you can see, hopefully it'll give me some HP or some spirit hearts. That's Curse of the Tower. That plants bombs everywhere every time I'm hit. I definitely don't want that. And we got nothing but spiders. Alright, great. Lovely. And I think we're going to go on. Um, we unlocked Eve. Wow, already? Okay. Uh, so as you can see, this has a lot of biblical characters. You saw Lazarus just unlocked Eve. Um, Judas is in this. Magdalene. What else we got? Azazel it really isn't a character in the Bible. He kind of just represents the devil, but he is also a character you can unlock. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, no. You see all that red stuff on the floor? I can actually get hurt by that, so definitely don't want to do that. And notice how some enemies are a different color than their counterparts. That'll mean that they are champions and they can knock us out with a full heart of damage here. So we want to stay away from them. See if there's any health in here. There is not. Unfortunate. Um, I guess we have to go in here for item room. But... Golly, it's so hard playing on a controller. You know, this game does stem from the Bible. A lot of it is biblical. Uh, obviously, there was some fictional stuff thrown in there. Uh, you know, just kind of make it a full game. Let's see what our item room is. A little haunt. He's pretty good. For our build right now. Anyways. Um, these are greed heads. If you hit them, or they hit you rather, uh, they will take your money away. I would love to show you that. But we really don't have the HP to do that, so not gonna do that. Um, you know, I did take a public speaking course, but I also go to community college, which is, uh, you know, kind of speaks for itself. No, I love community community college. It's a great uh, way to save money as well as get your associates. I don't know, you know, what. You want to get your associates in, but if you just want to save money in college, I highly recommend it for that purpose. All right, we have half a spirit heart now, and probably gonna die here soon. But I got a full focus here. Like I said, playing with controllers a little bit different. Our item rooms have not really been good to us, and this might be the room. This might be it. This is it. Yep, there it goes. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, subscribe for some more epic gamer moments. Um, you know, we didn't get to see the final boss here, but let me know if you want me to continue on a bland save file or you want me to crank it out on my regular save file. I'd love to know your input. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you'd like me to change the audio, 
just let me know in the comments. So subscribe for more content. I hope to see you around the channel, and uh, peace out, guys.